Nice. An early model of the companion. Back when, back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified automat autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimic humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Oh yeah. for you. Cool down. I think I can play this. Look. Sounds familiar. One more, I think. Very nice tune.
To do some more exploring around here. Another one. Okay. I don't know why I didn't see this before. Oh wait, I was here. Oh, oh I was somewhere else with the piano. Confused. I have to develop your own artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as real human. Volume 2. 42. Hey Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined spectrometer with powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to be capable of warning off the Zerks on our on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I thought I might have to test it under, under real circumstances. Let's find the other notebooks. Alright, gotta find more of the signs. Blue signs. Hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. 
I feel compared to pet you, but I don't. But I won't. Because I don't understand why. Button probably looked weird for a second there. Should be back or something. Oh, another one. Don't know if I already went there, but I'll check it out. Last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zbaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceiv inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design fall in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we, can, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that that could be our way up. Let's show, the, let's show them what we found. Alright. Hey there, Momo. 
Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Oh, you found Clan Pine's notes? She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I ever met. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders. I'm also the last remaining one. Oh, it's it belongs to it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. And the last one. That's the Baltazar's notebook, right? Uh I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what? what's that note? The transceiver can, can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside the, of the slums. Clementine, Svazar, Doc, I'm sorry I, do I doubt your cause. I'll pro I'll promise you, I, fi I will find a way to see the reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find the way up. Now let's f now let's fix this pe piece of junk for our seat transceiver. Still no idea where who the poncho goes to. Maybe it's mine. And voila, it works. And voila, it works. Come with me. Alright. Up there, see that building? High, high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, you should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Thank you. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, we need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Alright. Got it. Let's get going. Jeez. To get out.
cat on a mission. This the city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. That people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over the, the house. That person was taken away and never seen again. Some people saw the hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was something. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think, I think it helped. Thanks. here.
Yep. It's a little hard when the game's like making you unsure where to go. I just run around till I know what to do. There we go. Get, get off me. Give at least two. I can crash him. Up him like a blister.
Messi. broken for a moment. I pull that. Okay, I figured that out. Oh god. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here it is. Put the transceiver in the antenna. Oh. Where? Oh. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. Beautiful from here. I remember now the city. It was meant to, meant to be a shelter. Wow. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof ceiling off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect itself from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody, nobody can go out. The outside was a was a disaster, completely barren, livable, and dangerous. But if you come from here, come from there, it mu must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't to just go to the outside; it was up in the city. Still don't understand why some memories are coming back and those others aren't. I'm certain now that this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come now. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Save. It is just auto saves. Look, a note. A little, a little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar. To take advantage of their antenna. Meet me there. I locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Well. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the for the window near the entrance. Let's go.
No. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a, to get a signal. Let me see if I can d get this thing working. Uh, I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Sabalchazar? Momo? I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Sabalchazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? Has to go through the sewers and reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks Zir everywhere. Sewers? How? Well, darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. The Zbatasar is still alive. And he and the other outsiders managed to go up to the sewers. Sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if the badges are made it, there must be a way. <laughs> Whenever guests pass this, the sewers, it's infested with the Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past, it, it, didn't, it doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. <laughs> Seamus. His father, Do Doctor, his father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some of some new weapons to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test a new device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same uh, same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, there's, that's our ticket out to join the outsiders. In, in his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. It must be where he was working on it. There must be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. No cling, huh? Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. Ah. 
Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot, lot of information that will hope, hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, out, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and establish a connection with the others. <laughs> what are you doing here? I told you. Being your gang through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's that? What's this? Wait, is, is this my puppus? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Secret lab, right under, right under my nose. Maybe there are clues hidden somewhere around here. Let's see. Time will tell. I never noticed this digi a digicode before. Did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Any code around here?
Use the clocks. Robots news headline. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat meat, eat metal. And I've seen this room before. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. Those blueprints, they must have been... They must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive of his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Defluxer blueprints. Light based handgun, visual appearance. Cute sounds, but never friendly. All bacteria of human time eats all kinds of materials. Follow the vision in the dark. React to the intense light. I'll pick up the item. I'm pick that up and give it to him, but it won't let me. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where, find where you went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I miss him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My pop uh, definitely took one with with him. We just need to repair the trackers so we can find him. Someone does, in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you.
Alright. Let's try finding someone. Bartender, okay. You new around here? What can I help? I can What can I do for you? All right, just gotta show him the item. What a beautiful object and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented, just a little, well, you, you'll you see. His name's Elliot. His, his office is just left up here. Near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over the store. His store. Okay. Elliot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go find Elliot. Way. Oh, it was here. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget, may I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't, can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something. I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I need, need a blanket to be able to fix a tracker. I got a blanket for you. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Are you just a shun? Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. I now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Let's give it. Let's gotta give it a, an update and one more thing. Voila! Yay! There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Tracker looks fixed to me. Let's show it to Seamus. Alright. Gotta go back. Here. Did you manage to fix that tracker? Sure, sure did. You did it? Fix it, well done. Give it here. You got a ping. Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my papa went.
This must be it. He le really left the slums. Dangerous out there, but I, I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this.